Well, it's a very good morning, folks. Yes, it's early on this morning. It's half past nine, very early for the Jag to be out. But today's video is going to be slightly different as I'm going to be trying to do a video for our new collaboration channel, which is called Looking After Scotland, indeed. I've been collaborating now with uh, October Rain Rocks and this channel is all about, you know, litter and graffiti and things that make Scotland not look nice, if you know what I mean. So, got the old GoPro today, and today's video, for me anyway, I'm going to try and do a video about trash that's in the river, in the Dickety in particular, and just lying all over our countryside, man. You know, everywhere you go, there's a bit of litter. So, let's see if we can uh, get this video done today. Now, just going to head down to this old bridge. Well, it's not an old bridge, though. It's a very new bridge, but there used to be an old bridge there. So we're going to have a, a wee look at this, first of all, today. Well, as you can see, it's a very sophisticated mechanism there on the gate. God, it's like tea in the park here. Look at it. Oh, dear. oh is the bridge closed off? Oh, what's going on, man? Disaster. Now, there used to be an old bridge here. You can still see part of it. An old Victorian bridge, but they've now done it up. And we have this rather lovely wrought iron bridge now. A bit of a precarious entry onto the bridge. Now, right behind me there, folks, is the new Victorian Bridge, as they call it. It used to be an old bridge here, but it started crumbling away. It was here for centuries, 17th century, I believe it was built, and it was used as a main route here for the pack horses to get over the Dichty, coming from the north, heading into Brody Ferry and the main routes, the trade routes anyway. So it was a really narrow bridge as well, enough room for just one horse and cart. They've kept the same width here, and it's a fantastic structure now, it really is an awesome bridge. So this one will now be standing for, for centuries as well, hopefully, and over the Dichty. It's not in a particularly nice part of uh, Dundee. There's a big superstore just over there. And, uh, yeah, what can you say? Anyway, there it is, folks, the bridge. People. I've come up here, just drove up from where the bridge is, and I've just found this bit of a derelict road, big roundabout here, and there, uh, there's nothing here, it's just a dead end. Obviously they had big plans for this, but it's just nothing here. It's just a mess. Litter strewn everywhere, an old iron brew bottle. But this roundabout here, obviously, as I said, had big plans for it, but nothing has come off it. We just have old bits of road strewn around all over the place, and all bin over there. It's just an absolute mess. What are they going to do with it now? Who knows? Countryside, that way. Superstore and wind turbines that way the old bridge and nursing home that way it's in the middle of nowhere wow 
Ladies and gentlemen, I give you an old abandoned piece of road. There it is. Crikey folks, I was driving down the road here and I thought there's an awful draft coming in. I've left the boot open. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Now, I've never been under here before, so we have to do the obligatory spears! Oh, nice echo. I'll do that again. Spears! Lovely. So, the underpass here, this is the Dickty River, it flows all the way through Dundee. And as you can see, there is uh, plenty of litter congregating on the shores all the way along here now they do have a clean out here every year or so but it just doesn't work man I mean you've seen the trolley there how does a trolley get from Asda to, to down here I do not know it's all up the embankment there look at that it's just shocking man it's disgusting really now I know we had the floods here so that probably didn't help uh, a few months ago the, the waters were right up here you know they were flooding all the way through so obviously a lot of the rubbish came flying down and and has been left on the side of the embankments. But we'll have a little walk along here. It's very overgrown actually. I don't think it'll be this overgrowing. Um, and we'll see what crikey. Look, look at the hogweed. It's about head high, man. Goodness me. I don't know if I'm gonna actually see anything here. Anyway, we'll have a little stroll, see what see what comes up. And there we go, look at that. An M&M's packet. There we go, see litter everywhere. bottle. Assuming I'm here. So this is actually Drumgeath Meadow. It was once the site of a bleach field. All right. Well my plans have kind of been a little bit foiled. I thought I'd be able to get down into the river bank there and have a little uh, look around the shores but it's just so overgrowing I just can't get into it. So I'll have to try and find another little bit that's not quite so overgrown. There's just weeds and hog well, especially hot. that's hogweed there, isn't it? That that stuff. The most dangerous plant known to man. Hmm. Now I have some nice mosaic-y kind of things here. This is all about the mill, there's the water wheel. Some pieces. Oh dear, look at this. What's going on here, man? And more trolleys in the water. Look at that. Well folks, I failed in my mission to get a video together for our new channel. It was just so overgrown, I just couldn't get anywhere near the Dichty. Went to a couple other spots as well, but there's just no way I could get there. So, a bit of a fail. Now I'll have to rethink my strategy for today. However, I've stopped here at my favourite eating place. I've got myself a croissant. 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 We have a cinnamon bun. The cappuccino as well. I don't know why I'm showing you all because you know what they look like. But to have a little lunch break and then we'll get back out and uh, have a rethink about what we're going to do. Ah. Oh, baby, rock, rock. 